Backwaters and Backroads here. Obviously, today, actually today and tomorrow, if the forecast can be believed, we have this amazing couple of days here. October. Is it October? Yeah, it's October. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I don't pay attention. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day it is. I got to check all the time. We're taking the Beagle Barge out. We're going to go seven miles up the coast to the Fire Steel River. We're hopefully going to get over the bar there and then into that beautiful river basin. I believe my friends Mike and Renee and their seven kids are going to be joining us on this trip. So I'm going to hook the truck up and we're going to back her in the water and let's do this. Started really easy this time, guys. Like right away. Idling right away, too. Love it. I gotta find a better way to haul these kayaks, guys. On the roof, I'm thinking. There's the, there's the solar getting all of its yummy sun, yummy power making power. But I'm thinking some kind of low profile cot. Oops. I'm thinking some kind of low profile kayak rack on both sides back here. Okay, let's see if we can still fit under the trestle, guys. I see no reason why we can't. Looks like we still might. Okay guys, so we are anchored in the little cove next to the lighthouse here in Ontonaga. And I'm going to turn the phone around in a second and give you guys a closer look. I know I've showed it to you before as we're kind of passing by, but I'm waiting for Mike and his family to launch their boat and kind of get situated for a little overnighter extent, uh, excursion. So uh, yeah, let me show you around for a second. Okay, so don't mind all this crap. I'm a really organized person normally, like almost OCD about it. But uh, <clears throat> if I waited until I had everything worked out on this boat to actually go have a little fun, I'd, it'd be like another couple of years. So you're going to have to put up with the mess, and I'm going to have to put up with it too. So anyways, here's our lighthouse. Um, it's kind of interesting in that you can't really get up and look at it from the road. I mean, you can kind of jump a little fence or dart in, around one or something to come see it unofficially. People do it, but... What you have to do is you have to go to town, you have to go to the museum, and then they give you a little tour in the summer. I've never actually done it, but uh, I should, and I want to, and when I do, I'll share it with you guys. Okay guys, so we're coming up on the Fire Steel, which I, you've seen before on my channel, but if you're new or wasn't around a year or two ago, it's a river that's seven miles up the shore, up the Keweenaw, uh, from the Ontonagon River. And it's a smaller river, but it's a, it's a fairly substantial one too that you can actually navigate if you can get over the bar. And we're going to find out if the barge can get over the bar. I hope it can. Well guys, I don't know if there's an entrance big enough to get into the fire steel. I'll get a little closer and see. Okay, well there it is. We'll see if it's deep enough. It's going to be a tricky one. The mouth is changing all the time. Okay guys, I pulled it over the bar. All right, guys, we got in. We're probably churning up some sand. We made it, Wavy. All right. There we go, park right over there. Okay, guys, so while we're waiting for Mike to get here, I can see him coming in, but he's moving slow. This is the mouth of the fire steel. It's always changing. Probably a lot of these rivers do because they're always fighting, you know, the big lake. Their mouth of the Huron does this too. 
Um, but if you're a big enough river like the Ontonagon, then you know it, it doesn't have this issue necessarily. Um, I mean, the mouth used to be right over there the last time I was here, like six weeks ago. And you can see it gets really shallow right here, but there's always like a trough. And the trough this time is really close to this edge. So when Mike gets close, I'm going to walk out there and him and his two oldest boys will probably pull his boat in over the bar like I just did with the barge. Okay guys, we're leaving the fire steel here. Mike couldn't get his boat in, so I'm just gonna camp in under the trussel and the Ontonagon tonight, so stay tuned. <laughs> 